Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Look closely. Do you think anything can live here? Imagine trying to survive in a place where it almost never rains and where there are very strong winds. There's a lot of hot sun and not many trees or shade. Sounds like a difficult place to live, doesn't it? That is what it's like to live in a desert. A desert is a place where almost no rain falls. Most people think all deserts are hot. But that's not true. In fact, the cold Antarctic is the largest desert of all, because it almost never rains or snows. But that we can explore in another lesson. <laughs> Today, I'm going to take you on a journey to some mighty hot deserts. So buckle up, grab your sunscreen, and let's go! As you may have guessed, without water, surviving in the desert is quite tough. But you'll be surprised by the variety of animals and plants we'll find in the hot, hot desert. There are even people who make deserts their home or habitat. Our first stop is the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert in the world. This desert is in northern Africa. It's spread over 10 countries and is one of the hottest places on Earth in the summer. Most of the Sahara Desert is very sandy and rocky. There are some areas of mountains, and there are also large flat areas of raised land called plateaus. Here, you'll find various insects, lizards, and snakes. And if you ask them how they've spent their day, they will tell you that in the morning and late afternoon, they will be out in the not-so-hot sun. <laughs> but by midday, they'll be hiding in their burrow, and then at night, hunting for some food. There are also many birds, like hawks, eagles, and vultures, that fly high off the ground, hungry, looking to catch their prey. Oh, look at that roadrunner, who looks like he just caught his dinner. Although roadrunners can fly, they prefer to run in the hot desert sun. How sweet is this fennec fox with its big ears? It looks a bit like a rabbit, don't you think? <laughs> Actually, its unusually big ears help let the heat out, while its sandy color helps it blend in or camouflage, making it difficult to be spotted by predators. Finally, its furry feet help it walk on the hot sand without getting burnt. How cool is that? And look at this camel. Camels have very large wide feet, which allows them to walk on the desert sand without sinking. They also have humps on their backs. Some people think they store water in their humps, but that's actually not true. Their humps store fat. Wait a second. Fat? You see, this fat gives the camel energy when it can't find food in the desert. They can go months without food. Can you imagine going 50 days without eating? <laughs> no way! Not me! <laughs> the Sahara is just one of the many deserts on Earth. There are deserts on all seven continents. Hot deserts can be found in North America, South America, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Life in all of them is very similar. Both animals and plants have to survive in hot weather with very little water. These animals must find ways to keep cool in the heat. Some animals make holes in the ground to get away from the hot temperatures, while others use their tails or wings to make shade. But animals aren't the only residents here. There are many plants that live in the desert, too. Let's check them out. Our second stop is in the Sonoran Desert. Wow, look at all these cool cactuses. You better watch out, or you might get pricked. A cactus has sharp spines to help protect it from birds and other animals that might try to eat it. A cactus, like many other desert plants, has thick skin to protect them from the strong sunlight of the desert. 
And this is one of the very famous saguaro cactus. It's really one of a kind. It soaks up to 200 gallons of water, just like a sponge, and then stores it in its cells for months. You can also find many other plants in the desert, like shrubs, succulents, and even some trees. Let's check out the Mojave Desert. Look at this plant. Looks a bit like a tree, but not exactly, right? They're called Joshua trees. The Joshua tree is a very special plant. It's kind of like an entire ecosystem on its own. It provides food and shelter to birds, insects, and other animals. But most importantly, the yucca moth. Without the yucca moth, Joshua trees cannot produce seeds or pollinate. They are the only animals that can pollinate the plant. And the most amazing thing about Joshua trees is that they're not trees at all. They're succulents. Succulents store water in their trunks and their leaves so they can survive long periods without rain. Many plants in the desert, the Joshua tree included, have roots that are buried just below the surface of the soil. This allows them to get a lot of water when it rains. But let's move on and find out if we can find humans in the desert. Can you believe that humans have lived in the desert for thousands of years? People who live here usually have herds of animals like goats and camels. To survive, they often have to move from place to place in order to find a desert oasis to live near. An oasis is an area with a supply of water where plants can grow. So they can move often. These people often live in homes which can be moved easily, such as tents. Imagine moving your entire house every few weeks. Pretty cool, right? People who live in that way are called nomads. The hot desert is a special place, different from any other habitat in the world. The dry, sandy, and rocky landscape make it a difficult place to live. Plants and animals that live in the desert have found ways to survive. It sure is a difficult place to call home, but the desert is an important and beautiful part of our planet. And don't forget, not all deserts are hot. In some, we can find ice and snow. It looks like we're out of sunscreen, so <laughs> it's time to go. We'll see you in our next Mighty Habitat. Stay mighty, scholars.